Hello everyone, I am Sachin. So I am going to talk about our work on segmenting breast biopsy whole slide images. <coughs> Training directly on these images is not possible because these images are very big and we have very limited amount of GPU resources. One potential approach for training CNN on these images is to use a patchwise approach. You take a whole slide image and split it into patches and then train a CNN network. But the problem comes with the large tissue structures. When we divide an image into patches, we divide the larger tissue structures into smaller structures, and that limits the context available to CNN. As we can see in the below image, like the red box is not aware of the surrounding yellow color boxes, so it's going to make a lot of errors. In order to segment these breast biopsy images, we propose three main contributions. One is the dense connections between encoder and decoder. The other is input-aware residual convolutional units. And the third one is multi-resolution input. So here on the right side is the encoder-decoder architecture, where encoder takes an RGB image and performs some convolutional and downsampling operations and learns some representations. The decoder takes those representations and uh, produces the segmentation mask. We introduce a direct link between a decoding block and all encoding blocks that are at the same or lower level. This basically improves the flow of information inside this plane, uh, inside the encoder-decoder architecture and ultimately improves the accuracy. Our second contribution is input-aware residual convolutional units. Most of you must be familiar with the residual convolutional units. In order, uh, this, uh, the problem with these residual convolutional units is uh, due to the uh, downsampling and convolutional operations, you lose the spatial information. So we basically reinforce this input inside the network so that we can compensate the loss of information. So when we reinforce the input inside the network, the accuracy of our network improved by 3%, which is a lot. This uh, slide visualizes the feature maps of both the residual convolutional units and input-aware convolutional units. Uh, we can clearly see that uh, input-aware residual convolutional units are able to compensate loss of information. So our third contribution is multi-resolution input. As I mentioned earlier, patch-based approaches divide larger tissue structures into smaller structures and limits the context available to CNNs. So therefore, in order to make the CNN aware of the surrounding information, we introduce a multi-resolution network as shown here. This basically helps in improving the mistakes that we make at the border of the patches and improves the accuracy of our network by about 2%. Uh, this slide visualizes the segmentation results with the single resolution and multi-resolution. With multi-resolutions, as you can see, we are able to make good prediction, especially at the border of the patch. Now, an uh, important question is why we want to do the segmentation. Our experimental results suggest that the simple features extracted from these segmentation masks have a very high descriptive power. We basically extracted uh, histogram features, the frequency and coherence features, and trained a multilayer perceptron to classify into four different cancer types. With just this simple structure, we are able to attain 55% of diagnostic classification accuracy. The important thing about segmentation mask is it helps in understanding the important tissue types which are responsible for the cancer. For example, when we remove the stroma tissue from our features, it dropped the accuracy by 8%. This is consistent with our find, uh, this is consistent with the findings of the pathologist. Some example results, I don't have time to go over them, so. Yeah, so to summarize, we introduced some novel methods that help in improving the segmentation performance, and we showed that segmentation masks have very high descriptive power, which can help in understanding the tissues responsible for breast cancer. Thank you.